Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to create a dummy variable using the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you several examples and in the first example I'm showing you how to convert a character string variable into a dummy. So in this example I'm using the vector vec1 as basement that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the top right of RStudio, a new vector object appears, which is called vec1. And we can also have a look at this vector object by running line three of the code. And then you can see that our vector contains the character strings yes and no multiple times. So let's assume that we want to convert this character string vector to a dummy vector. Then we can apply the if else function, as you can see in line five of the code. So within the if else function, we need to specify the name of our vector. And then we need to specify the character string that should be converted to the value one. So in this case, we are converting the character string yes to the value one. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the top right of RStudio, a new vector object appears, which is called dummy one. And we can also have a look at this dummy vector by running line six of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console, that we have converted our character string vector to a dummy vector consisting of the values one and zero. So in the first example of this video, I have explained how to convert a character string vector to a dummy vector that consists only of two different values. So in this case, our vector consisted of the values yes and no. However, it is also possible to convert a vector that is consisting of more than two different character strings to multiple dummy vectors. And this is what I'm going to show you in the next example that is starting in line eight of the code. So if you run line eight of the code, you can see that another vector object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called vec2. And we can print this vector to the RStudio console by running line nine of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new character string vector, which is consisting of the character strings yes, no, and maybe. So if we want to convert this vector to a matrix that is consisting a dummy for each of the character strings in our example vector, then we can apply a combination of the S data frame and the model matrix functions, as you can see in line 11 of the code. So within the model matrix function, we need to specify a tilde, and then we have to specify the name of our vector object, and we have to specify minus one. So if you run this line of code, you can see that another object is appearing at the top right of RStudio, and this is actually a data frame object. And we can have a look at this data frame by running line 12 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created a new dummy matrix, which is consisting of three columns. So the first column is showing a dummy that is equal to zero in case our input vector is not maybe and that is equal to one in case our input vector is maybe. So as you can see at the third position of our input vector and at the sixth position of our input vector, we had the value maybe. And for that reason, our first column of the matrix is equal to the value one at the third and at the sixth position. The same logic can be applied to the other two columns of our data frame. So in the second column, we have created a dummy vector that is equal to one in case our input vector had the character string no. And in the third column of our data frame, we have created a dummy vector that is equal to one in case our input vector was equal to the character string yes. So as you have seen in the second example, it is also possible to create multiple dummy vectors in case our input data has more than two different values. However, in the third example, I want to show you a completely different example because in this example, I'm creating a random dummy vector from scratch. So I'm not having any input data, but this time I'm just assigning the values one and zero to our vector randomly. So whenever we use random processes in the R programming language, it makes sense to set a random seed first to make our example reproducible. So this is what I'm doing in line 14 of the code. And then in line 15 of the code, I'm applying the R binom function. I'm specifying that the length of our output vector should be equal to 10. 
then I'm specifying that in each draw I'm drawing only one value and the probability of drawing the value 1 should be equal to 30%. So if you run line 15 of the code you can see that another vector object is appearing at the top right of RStudio which is called dummy3 and we can also have a look at this vector by running line 16 of the code and now you can see that our output vector is a dummy vector that is consisting of the values 1 and 0 and this time we have drawn our dummy vector randomly. So in this video I have shown you three alternatives on how to create dummy vectors in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.